Hi everybody, this is Kefren, your favorite French Canadian. Today I'm gonna to show you how to boost your FPS in Diablo Immortal. I had a guide previously that I've used for the, the beta version, but a lot of stuff changed for the um, for the, the official release on mobile. So I'm gonna show you what to do. So first of all, I'm using the Galaxy S21. Uh, so if you want some tips for the game launcher, I'm gonna show you uh, how to do that. If you have another phone, I'm pretty sure you have those kind of parameters. So make sure that you applied it. So first of all, make sure that your priority mode is activated like this. After that, we're going to go to more game plugin and always use three different plugins when I'm playing the game. First of all, really important to use the game booster plus. You want to make sure that all the optimization on your phone is activated when you're playing a game so that your phone can really focus on the game. Uh, I always use also the performance Z, so it's it, it's just like some stats that I can see the amount of FPS, GPU degrees, about temperature. Uh, same thing with the CPU, also the usage. It's just for me when I'm do some tests and changing some parameter, I want to see the effect. So that's why I'm using it. And the third one is the priority mode that it's activated. Also, you can click on it, go to Diablo Immortal. Make sure the background app cleanup is activated, as you can see. I recommend to check the apply to all game, press apply, press change, and now the all the, the background app will be closed when you will play Immortal game, but also I applied it to all my games. So super important to do that. Uh, you want to make sure that your phone is 100% dedicated to the game. Before going further in my video, I want to present the BenQ screen bar it's a new screen bar that I've been using for the past two or three weeks on my laptop. And I really like it because a screen bar is a light that aims to optimize uh, your gaming setup. When I play on my laptop, I don't have any proper lighting and also I don't have uh, lights on my keyboard. It's not working anymore, so that's why I like to see my keyboard. It has a couple of features like auto dimming, uh, space saving with the special clip that they provide you. It's glare free, it's USB power also, no batteries. And also uh, it has an adjustable color temperature and brightness on the product. The product is $109. I will put the link on my video description. And honestly, if you have, if you're struggling with your lighting, this product is pretty amazing. So now let's go in Diablo. We're going to look at the parameter. So first of all, in display, uh, you just have four different picture mode. It doesn't change anything in my FPS. It's more like a filter. Uh, so it's question of preference. I'm playing at classic, but you can definitely change it if you want. After that, the graphic parameter. So the first one that you have is the frame rate. You have two different frame rate, 30 and 60. If you're playing on the last gen phone or something old and like two years or more recent, uh, you can definitely play at 60 if you have an high-end phone. On my S21, it's running really smooth, smoothly. Uh, I also have a S9, a Galaxy S9. And for this one, I recommend to go with some medium uh, graphic setting with a frame rate of 30. And I'm really impressed with 30 on a mobile phone. It doesn't feel like 30 when I play, you know, a PS5 game or whatever. So 30 is not that bad and it's pretty fluid when you're playing the game. So... For this one, I'm going with 60. For the image accuracy, high-end phone, I recommend to go with high. If you have like a low-end phone or something older, definitely go with medium. Not a big fan of ultra. It's taking a lot of resources and I was getting some random drops also. So that's why I'm putting the image accuracy at high. Image sharpening, I recommend to just deactivate it. After that visual effect, I recommend to go with medium. You will have a decent uh, image quality. If when you're fighting and you have some spells and stuff like that, you're dropping in your FPS, definitely you should test low. It will help you like 2% difference, I can say, in your FPS. So you can gain a nice 2%. And it helps a lot to stabilize your FPS, but it really depends on the type of phone that you use. For the shadow, honestly, shadow for me is not a big thing. It's not very important. If I compare high to low, you can expect a nice 8% boost in your FPS. So I really recommend to just go with low. Uh, this is where you will gain the most of your FPS. After that, you have fog. Fog, I recommend to go with low. Another 3% boost in your FPS. So it's a pretty decent parameter. And it's not a huge deal also to go with low. And also, I my visibility is a little bit better when I put the fog at low. 
Post-processing, I recommend to go with off. Uh, it helps also with the image clarity, uh, less blur also. So that's why I'm recommending to use at off. You can expect like 1% maybe in your uh, uh, gain in your FPS. So it's not a huge deal, but it's good for your image quality. Anti-aliasing, I recommend to go with low. Uh, off, I'm not a huge fan of off. You will see that you will have a lot of aliasing. Um, on objects and stuff like that. So I really recommend to go with low to smooth it out. Uh, if you go at high, you will lo lose too much FPS for the uh, result. So low seems to be a good compromise in this game. Environmental detail also go with medium. Uh, good compromise. If you go to high, you're going to lose 3% in your FPS. But if you go to low, you're going to lose 1%. So medium seems to be a good balance between performance and also image quality. It's pretty, same, pretty much the same thing with monster effect. Uh, the, the, the balance seems to be medium. I'm, I was losing 3 to 4% in my FPS at high, but at low, it's a, like 1% boost, so it's not very worth it. But when uh, you're seeing monster doing like, I don't know, effects and stuff like that, and you're dropping in your FPS, definitely lower this one and it will help you a lot. For the bloom effect, I recommend to go with off. Not a huge fan of Bloom, and also uh, it helps with visibility in this game, so that's why I deactivate it. Vegetation burning effect, also I'm deactivating it. This one was causing me uh, random drops in my FPS on my S21, so I had some issue to running it. <laughs> I'm kind of surprised. So for me, it's really like go with off any type of phone that you have. Uh, it will uh, you will struggle with this one, so that's why I recommend to just put this one at up for now. The last one is for PvP. Uh, anyway, for me, you need to reduce your PvP effect because first of all, you want the most of performance. You also want the best visual, but not the best visual, but the best clarity in your visual because you're trying hard. You, <laughs> you're fighting in PvP, so you want less effect. So super important to put this one at off. For me right now, the device load will be at medium. Uh, but if you tweak a couple of um, uh, parameters like the resolution, you will go at low. Uh, it will help, first of all, with your battery, the thermals on your phone, and also with the amount of FPS. So this is pretty much it, guys, for my Diablo Immortal Guide for mobile version. I will have another one for the PC version. If you have any question, just comment in the YouTube section, post me your phone, so the model of your phone, and also your region, because sometimes uh, the CPU and the GPU will be different depending on the region that you live. Uh, I will try to help you the best that I've, uh, of I can. And also, don't forget to subscribe to the channel Peace.